and the most important thing is I don't know what in what topics should I make video like Python videos are nowadays yeah lots of universe make Python videos but I have got an interesting idea so yeah my screen is not full screen let me just manage it mm, okay so I use OBS to record my video as you can see right now I am just showing you in where I record video also so yeah today uh this is not no, this is a tutorial about cd script or um, godot godot game engine so yeah we will be looking a little bit into godot game engine okay so yeah okay by the way i am a fan of blackpink if you are also a fan of blackpink just comment down blank and right now i was just listening to some of the music of my bias <laughs> don't worry about this if you don't know okay so just leave that now let's go ahead and download Godot. So obviously I was searching for some free courses of Godot, but I didn't find free courses. I need to pay actually. So I just bought some of the courses and I actually learned Godot in these two months. Okay. So I want I want to make tutorials on Godot instead of making tutorials on uh, I don't know in Python or something like that. Uh, everybody knows how to program right now and there are lots of youtubers teaching python but godot yeah there are lo lots of uh, popular youtuber of godot also some uh, gd quest and one of the popular one i know is uh, gd quest and others are also there right now okay so mm, there are lots of youtubers in godot also but i, I also want to uh, be in this community and i just so also want to just uh, talk about godot so uh yeah let's talk a little bit about godot and godot is obviously a game engine where you can uh, uh make games for android also ios also consoles also pc also anything okay you can you have a lot of multi-platform options which you can obviously do so yeah godot godot's main features are those. now if you come over here then you can obviously make 3d in godot also and uh, 2d also yeah and the f the most interesting thing about godot is it uses a lot of programming language you can use obviously gd script which is its native programming language and after that you can use c sharp c plus plus and there is another option called visual scripting where you just drag and drop codes into its places I have made some of the videos of Kodular also. Kodular is also a free platform where you can obviously make um, apps without coding, but you have to pay royalty if you want to publish. Uh, sorry, not publish. If you want to run ads, if you want to do in-app purchases. Now, if you see over here, you don't have to pay any kind of royalties. So that is um, a little bit very interesting about godot okay so if you talk about uh, something like unity 3d uh, you you have some of the limited options you have to go for pro version or i don't know professional version i don't know i haven't used uni i have used unity by the way i have used the uh, unity personal edition but I, I i haven't used other editions okay so yeah godot is obviously you can use it for multi uh, platform things Obviously, um, it is an open source project, so uh, all of the people are in community can develop uh, their things in Godot. So it is also sponsored by Genvi Academy. Also, like there are lots of things which who are um, sponsors of Godot. Now, obviously, uh, downloading Godot in Godot, as you can see, we can use a uh, programming language like C Sharp, C plus plus, ZD Script, Visual Scripting but uh, in my tutorials obviously i will be making godot tutorials and i will be using gd script obviously and sometimes i could use c sharp also and visual scripting also c plus plus i don't know if i will use it because that is a little bit native and uh, yeah we will be covering in some of the future videos i have actually used go gd script visual scripting and c sharp in godot okay so yeah uh, you can just see in features then they will just show you what are the features you can create 2d games obviously 2d games is uh, very nice in godot and 3d also you can actually create it so yeah uh, after that 
if you are just just getting started and you have a shit pc or if you have a pc that doesn't work very nice or if you have something which has integrated graphics then you can obviously use godot it doesn't have any problem now let's go and download in download you have standard version and mono version mono version has c sharp support so if you want c sharp then you can go for mono version obviously the requirements is open gl 2.1 and open gl uh, 2.0 which is compatible hardware so yeah i think most of the pcs nowadays or laptops or whatever you have uh, are compatible with these ones and for mono build you need to have something known as visual studio build tools or the mono sdk so right now uh, i won't be talking about mono a lot in this video obviously you can just extract and run it obviously scoop bucket and all of these things you can get it directly from github also yeah you can do a lot of things but the thing is we just want a standard version just click on 64 bit bam it will start installing very fast now it will start ask you where to save it just save it anywhere you want and as you can see it is only 27 mb this is the most interesting part it is only 27 mb guys just just see this is only 27 mb and after you have downloaded i have already downloaded obviously okay so after you have downloaded obviously let me just open this folder inside this folder so inside this folder you will get this thing and if you open this thing you don't even have to install go to right now as you can see i also have an integrated graphics card nothing fancy nothing fancy um, uh, my pc is obviously old uh, so yeah um, i'm using go to right over here i am doing some of the project which is been taught in some of the udemy courses i have been joining some of the U udemy courses and i have made some of the games now if you want to see how what type of game I made in over here? Let me just show you some of the flashback right now. Obviously, I haven't listed all of the games which I have I have made. So yeah, it is a little bit weird. Now it is showing me not responding. Let me just pause the recorder for a while. Okay, so yeah, I just unpaused it. Now, as you can see, I just made Flappy Bird in uh, Godot. If you want to know how to make this game, then I could make tutorial for you guys also. So, yeah, this is my Flappy Bird, which I created in Godot. As you can see, I can just tap it and I think it is making sound. But I think I have disabled sound. Okay, let me just enable the desktop audio. And now I think it's working, yeah. So, I can obviously do some jump 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 and this is like a real flappy bird so yeah it is interesting games you can obviously play and it 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 works with databases also or um, like store files something like that also it works with that and uh, yeah creating these games is very easy this is obviously a 2d game you can obviously make a 3d game obviously like this obviously um you can do that also but yeah, this is this was one of my 2D games and I have another game which I think um, I have done it in Godot. Yeah, the, this Hopi Days and this one is one of uh, from the courses of I don't know the course of game TV or something like that. I just made a game from that also. This is a platformer game obviously. <laughs> okay I'm, I'm i'm dead i'm i'm very new at these games although i created it i'm very new at this game you can uh, do some scripting let me just show you the flappy board once again and i will just show you what type of scripting do we need to do so yeah okay it's loading right now it is not showing anything because i made it so uh, if you go in script then these are the script which we will be using to create uh, this flappy bird and I have lots of script obviously it will have lots of script because it's a full game obviously and yeah flappy bird is very easy to create if you want to learn how to create it and as you can see it uses a programming language like Python so as you can see it does not have its semicolons and as you can see it it just used that indent method which we used in uh, python also if you want to know 
about Python programming language, you can just go ahead and search it in my channel. There are lots of tutorials about Python. But from now, we will be making some Godot tutorials and I hope you all guys are ready for it. If you like Godot, then hit the like button. If you haven't sus subscribed and if you are new to this video, eh, sorry, new to this channel, then just subscribe to my YouTube channel and yeah, I will be making Godot tutorials. I will be making visual scripting tutorials. Lots of tutorials are coming for Godot, yeah? Just remember that. Thank you for watching. Okay, mm -mm. It, it's been two months. Sorry for that.